right, guys. Man City have just beaten Arsenal by two goals to one. And it, it was a really good game to watch uh, until about the 60th minute uh, when it all started to, well, go, go into that whole VA, VAR thing uh, about so uh, have they made the correct decision or not. And yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll start at the start of the game. Um, our Arsenal started, well, after about five minutes, Arsenal uh, p played really well. Um, they, they they were easily the better side in the first half, I would say. To be honest, uh, City didn't have many chances. Ruben Diaz had a header, which he probably should have done better with. Uh, but other than that, they didn't really create that many goal-scoring opportunities. Uh, Man City didn't. Um, but Arsenal, on the other hand, had a penalty shout. Uh, when Odegaard went through and uh, Edison came out with it and tried to get the ball with his foot. For me, Edison got the ball and definitely not a penalty when he went out for a corner. And uh, Arsenal did get the lead through Bukayo Saka. Um, it, it was a well-taken finish. Uh, Kieran Tierney, that from the left-hand side, uh, put a low cross in. Uh, it, it was more of a hopeful ball than anything. I don't think he was aiming for Saka. Uh, but Saka just swept into the bottom right corner with his left foot. A uh, really good goal. And Saka recently has been brilliant for Arsenal. Um, because with uh, all of Arsenal's young players that are currently doing really well for them, um, I, I thought Smith Rowe uh, recently, well, this season has been the one that's um, excelled even more than the rest. Uh, Martinelli's become very good over the past six or seven weeks. Um, and, and Saka's been playing well for Arsenal now for probably two years. Um, but I, I was worrying with Saka that he was going to become one of those players who is, is very good on the ball and is a very good player, but just doesn't quite have the end product to um, make it to like the make it to the elite like football category um, of players in his position. Uh, but recently, um, he, he started adding uh, more goals to his game. I think last season his goal tally wasn't uh, great, even though he was playing very well. But this season he's starting to add uh, more goals and assists to his game, which is uh, always really good. Odegaard also had a very good game and... But even even then, the best player for me today for Arsenal was uh, Thomas Partey. I thought um, to for Arsenal to uh, dominate the game against Man City is is quite incredible, especially the fact that um, Arsenal were playing with two man midfield and uh, City had three in midfield. So uh, I thought that was uh, re really good for Arsenal today and Thomas Partey. Had an excellent game. Uh, Chat Chaka had it had a good game, but um, once again, you, you get a couple of moments with him where he he, he, he will cost you. He, he has say every three games he plays, in two of them it will generally go quite well, but in one of them he he'll do something stupid, and he, he did that today in the second half. Um, Bernardo Silva running with the ball and. Uh, He's, he's sort of knocked the ball past Chaka, but Bernardo Silva starts falling over. So for me, it's not a foul until, for some reason, it, it's a dive, if anything. So Silva dives, but then Chaka decides to pull his shirt when he's already going down. Like, if Chaka doesn't do that, for me, I think the referee probably books Bernardo Silva and doesn't give the penalty. And yeah, that for me it it was fifty fifty because I felt silver dived, but I mean you can't argue with Granite Chaka's shirt pull. Um, it was just stupidity from Chaka once again, and he he doesn't he seems he's never going to grow out of it. To be honest, um, it, other than these moments of stupidity, he's he's a decent player. He's he's not a bad player. Um. But yeah, Maris converted the penalty, but uh, there was a moment leading up to the penalty where 
uh, Gabriel at centre back for Arsenal uh, started scuffing the penalty spot and that earned him a yellow card. And then straight away after the penalty, um, like it just went into madness the game. Um, Laporte headed the ball over Edison. Nathan Ake had to make a superb goal line clearance. It then falls to Gabriel Martinelli who misses an, pretty much an open goal. It, it was an easy chance. Um, he, even if it was on his weak foot, he should still be scoring. And then from the following goal kick, uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, controls the ball, takes it past Gabriel and for the centre-back for Arsenal. And Gabriel just goes straight through uh, Jesus and gets a second yellow. It, it, I mean, I, I suppose the second one, it was a bit stupid, but... So do it just straight straight after just scuffing the penalty spot. It, it was ridiculous. He he cost Arsenal um, as much as uh, Chaka did t today, Gabriel. Um, yeah, and then uh, you, you always felt the City were going to get a goal against 10-man Arsenal um, because, you know, our Arsenal are, have got a lot of young players who aren't experienced. And, you know, sometimes they can be a bit over keen and eager and uh, start trying to press, which they did do, um, which was a mistake. Because if you have 10 men on the pitch and you try to start pressing against Man City, it takes them five passes and they're getting a shot off on goal. Um, so it's, it's not a good idea and Arsenal were going to go and do that. You always felt that. Um but the goal didn't come until we're in stoppage time. Uh, De Bruyne put one into the box. It was a hopeful ball more than anything. Uh, but he put it into the right area. There was a bit of a, like uh, a bit of messing around in the box, and it uh, fell to Rodri, and he managed to prod it past Ramsdale and make it two one. Um, yeah, I, I think. Arsenal will feel a bit disappointed today because um, I, I I thought it, it it all comes back to that penalty, doesn't it, for me? Uh, because I mean, without the penalty, Gabriel probably doesn't get sent off because he wouldn't have got his first yellow card, but it was his fault uh, either way. And um, I, it's it's a really tough one because I think Silver has dived. <clears throat> Silver has dived. But it's just that stupidness from Chaka. But then again, a shirt pull doesn't always equal a penalty, does it really? Or does it? Because, I mean, you see it on corners all the time. Um, like a defender will grab an attacker's shirt. So for me, I, I'm edging towards it's not, <clears throat> it's not a penalty. And, yeah, I, I, it, it's a frustrating one. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like Arsenal will feel very disappointed. But it was a good performance nonetheless. They probably, in terms of who was the better side, they probably were the better side today, Arsenal. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've uh, got to say. It, it was a good game to watch. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.